Hello, welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the only show in Britain where one question could be worth a million pounds to anybody watching at this moment. Already on the way there is Jim Barnard from Bolton in Lancashire. He returns from last time. He's a retired IT systems analyst. Up in the audience, once again, try and keep her away, is Gillian, his wife for 15 years. Between them, they have four grown-up kids from previous relationships. They love to travel. And Jim keeps fit by hiking and has walked all 214 peaks of the Lake District. Jim says his target tonight is £50,000. I know one of your things, you want to go back to Australia? Yes. Because just last on, time just you made on holiday. A, well, last time you made a bit of a trip of it, didn't you? It was, yes, it was um, quite a trip. Yes, I went to Joe's brother in Melbourne. and as, as we were retired then, we had the time uh, to make it a better trip. We didn't have to zoom straight out and back, uh -huh. so we had plenty of stopovers. Where did we had, you go? We had a week in Tokyo, um, and also Kyoto on the bullet train, uh, down to Melbourne. And we had Christmas and New Year with them, three and a half weeks there. Uh, up to Sydney for a week, never been there before, brilliant. Great city. Climbed the bridge, did oh, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Crest of Fiji. Oh, Fiji. Fiji. Yeah, beautiful place. And then LA for three days. So you came the, and then the back, long way yeah. home. It all fitted in. OK. When the klaxon sounded at the end of the last show, Jim had already earned £5,000 and he still has all three lifelines left to use. He can go 50-50. And he can phone a friend or he can ask this very fine audience. Jim, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, question number five is for £10,000. You have £5,000 at this moment. You're only guaranteed £1,000. You would lose £4,000 if at this point you gave me a wrong answer. But you have three lifelines. Here it comes. With which sport is Graham Dot most associated? Athletics. Snooker, tennis, golf. With which sport is Graham Dot most associated? Athletics, snooker, tennis, golf. It's worth ten thousand pounds. You have all three lifelines. I'm pretty sure I know it, but it would be awful if I got it wrong. So uh, I think I'll ask the audience on this one. OK, right, first lifeline you've needed. Audience, this is the question. With which sport is Graham Dot most associated? Now, A on your keypad is athletics, B is snooker, C is tennis, D is golf. A, B, C or D, it's worth 10 grand. All vote now. Seventy-seven per cent say snooker. And you're going to say, yes, Chris, that's the one I was thinking of. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Dead right. Dead right. <laughs> uh, thought you would. Yep, thank you, audience. Hope you're right. Oh, I hope they're all right, yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Snooker. Right answer, you've got ten thousand pounds. Thanks, audience. So you have ten thousand. You are two away from fifty thousand, which was a kind of target. Uh, you still have two lifelines. You've got to phone a friend. Oh, one of your phone of friends is that nice, slightly mad agony aunt. Um, no, she won't mind me saying she's slightly mad, but she is. she's lovely. <laughs> What's she called? Denise Roberts. Yes. She's, she's one of your phone... How do you know her? Um, she's Jill's aunt. Not agony My aunt. wife's proper aunt. Proper aunt, <laughs> really. Right. OK, you have £10,000. Question number six is for 20000 Jim. The money's going up, but it does mean the drops are going up as well. You would lose £9,000 here if you went for it and if you gave me a wrong answer. Have a look. Tell us what you want to do. What did Coronation Street's Tracy Barlow name her daughter, born in 2004? Emma, Amanda, Amy, Emily. You a Corrie fan? No. Ah. Most unfortunate, isn't it? Let's think.
I will phone Auntie Denise. Auntie Denise? Denise. Oh, how nice. Well, listen, you. Well, it is. It's a moment of agony, so you need to ring her. Good. Good. <laughs> OK, we'll phone her. Do you think she'll know this? I'm pretty sure she will. She is a soap fan. Is she? Hello. Denise? Yes? Chris Tarrant here. How are you? I am very well, thank you. I have no problems. I don't want to ask you anything personally. <laughs> actually, actually, you'd be on for days <laughs> if I started. Um, <laughs> I've got Jim on the phone at the moment. He's uh, he's doing all right, actually. He's on ten thousand pounds. Good. But uh, he's stuck on a particular question. Uh, he's fairly sure you know the answer to this, darling. Uh, it's worth twenty thousand pounds to him. <gasps> Serious money. Okay. Oh dear. Right. So the next question will be Jim's. He okay. tell you the question. There's still four possible answers. One of these is worth twenty thousand. Right. 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 Lots of luck, Jim. Good luck, mate. Your time starts now. Hi, Denise. Um, Hello, darling. Coronation Street's Tracy Barlow. What did she name her daughter, born in 2004? Was it Emma, Amanda, Amy, or Emily? I'm fairly sure that it was Amy. I'm 75% sure it was Amy. Can okay, you repeat, can you repeat the seconds. names? Repeat the names. Uh, Emma, Amanda, Amy, Emily. Too late. Yes. She gives good advice, but very slowly. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> right, OK. Um, Doesn't do speed, does she, bless her? <laughs> um, it's your call. It might be worth doing a 50-50 as well. Up to you. At this stage. Up to you. To make sure. Um, we'll do, we'll do a 50-50, please. OK, computer take away two random wrong answers, leave Jim the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <sighs> I always said I wouldn't gamble at 10,000 or above. Denise says, Amy, it's still on there. lose nine or gain ten. Yeah, if you gave me a wrong answer, you'd lose nine thousand. You have ten grand at this moment. It's worth twenty grand. I'll stick there. Is that the money? Yes, too much at stake. Sorry, Denise. No. <laughs> Your call. No, I will stick there. Final answer? Final answer. OK, give him a big hand. Jim goes away with £10,000. <laughs> I will tell you, Jim. And you know it, don't you? You're going to tell. I'm going to tell you that she was absolutely right. The right answer was Amy. She and if you had said the sure, words to me, uh... Amy, I would have given you £20,000. Yes. Give him a big hand. Jim goes away with £10,000. <laughs> Right now, we've got ten brand-new contestants hoping to follow in Jim's footsteps. Let's meet them. They are... <laughs> Max O'Malley from London. Ray Bigwood from Essex. Jan Bell from Merseyside. Jenny Knight from Cornwall. Colin Howden from Glasgow. Tim Smith from Berkshire. Margaret Grace from Northamptonshire. Trevor Murphy from Berkshire. David Winnick from Middlesex. Alan Smith from Worcestershire. OK, then, serious business, eyes down. Fastest finger first. Uh, let's try and find out which of our ten hopefuls will be the next lucky person to cross that floor and try for a million quid. It does happen. It has happened. We have one question. It has four answers, only one correct order. The winner will be the person who punches in that correct order in the shortest possible time. Please, no distraction from the audience at that point. They need to concentrate. Here comes the question. 
Starting with the shortest, put these words in order of the number of years to which they refer. Bicentenary, centenary, decade, tercentenary. Some of them very quick. I don't know if they were right or wrong, but they're very quick. Let's have a look. This is the right order. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, decade, the shortest we started with. Decades, 10 years. Centenary is 100 years. Bicentenary, 200. And tercentenary, 300. So that's the right order. Now, did 10 get it right? I don't think they did from their faces. Let's have a look. Here they come. These were right. Most but not all. Fast. Colin Howden in 3.56 seconds. <laughs> Colin, don't just sit there, Colin. Right, next in the chair tonight, Colin Howden from Glasgow. Colin studied law at university, then he changed direction and qualified as a chartered accountant. He now works as an internal audit manager. He's been married for two years to Jackie, who's up there in the audience, offering her support and keeping her fingers crossed that Colin does well on the show. If he does, they intend to have big holidays in Australia and Las Vegas. They're both mad keen Glasgow Rangers fans, so they'd like a hospitality day at the ground. Then, if there is any change left from Colin's Lamborghini, there's a wild shopping spree in this for Jackie. So he's got a lot of work to do tonight. <laughs> um, right, let's make a start. 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. That's the formula. Colin, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right, question one is for £500. You have two questions you have to get right before you're guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. According to the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of what? The wall, the fence, the stream, the farm. C, B, the fence. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Question number two, last point, you can go home with nothing, Carl. It will not happen. Be positive, you have all three lifelines. This will guarantee you £1,000. Here it comes. What kind of meat would be obtained from a short horn? Beef, lamb, pork, goat. I have to be honest, I don't have a clue. I'm going to take the audience on this, please. OK, audience, nice and early, let's use you. This is the question. What kind of meat would be obtained from a short horn? Now, on your keypads, A is beef, B is lamb, C is pork, D is goat. It's worth a guaranteed £1,000 to call in. All vote now. Uh, it's a bit scattered. 67% are saying beef, though, which is still quite a high majority. 8% um, say lamb, 3% pork, 22% say goat. I think I'll trust the audience and I'll go with their answer, beef, please. Not 22% goat? No. Final answer? Yeah, I think so. OK, you have £1,000. <laughs> you often see him, don't you, the short-horn goat wandering about? <laughs> <laughs> um, You've just come back. You actually cut a holiday short, haven't you, to come here? Yep, came back from Vegas early. And Four you days. in Vegas? Four Seeing 